Today on the channel, we're back with a true crime-fighting team from McFarlane Toys' Batman 66 line. We got Batman and Robin with oxygen masks, and we've got Batgirl. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another McFarlane Toys Batman 66 unboxing and review. We got the brand new wave here with Batman Robin and Batgirl 2. But for all your Batman needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use discount code 8OFFDJC to save 8% off your entire order. Got to get a deal out there. And these are shipping from there as we speak. Far ahead of Target at this point for whatever reason. So pick them up if you need to. But we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We're going to start ladies first as we always do. We're going to start with Batgirl. And this Batgirl is interesting as it is not... The Batgirl from the show. This is the Batgirl from the comic book. Once again, like Two-Face in the last wave. We're seeing a little bit of that here today. And I think it was they couldn't uh, come to terms with Yvonne Craig's uh, likenesses rights or whatever it may be. But to me, this works. This is good enough. This is close enough to be dangerous. And you got to have Batgirl in the lineup somewhere along the way. And here we are here today. So let's look at the packaging. Very familiar packaging by now on this series. Very cool. Love the baby blue against the orange. The classic Batman logo is always awesome. Got the figure in the card there looking good. And then you do get a little batarang and a little pair of handcuffs for her. So we get a little something different there. I'm here for that. Then on the back of the package, we get a little animated artwork there, as you can see. And then a little glamour shot, Batman logo, UPCs, warnings, all that kind of fun stuff back there. But no blurb, nothing like that. So without further ado, let's get her out of the pack. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. And there it goes. See you later. Up high, plastic prison time. There she is, looking good in the old plastic prison. And pop these handcuffs out. And the batarang, maybe. It's taped in there tight. Got that tight tape. All oh, that tape. Fighting you, fighting you. And there it is. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. Then we do get the handcuffs here. It's got a little plastic chain. No mobility with it, anything like that. All in a purple color. Uh, but it is definitely handcuffs. It'll be interesting to see how well these do work. Uh, but definitely look cool. And definitely I do enjoy stuff like this over the POW and all that kind of stuff. Not a big fan of those in the action figures. That could be me. It's personal preference at the end of the day. But definitely looking good right there. Put that off to the side. And then you get all in purple once again. A little bat ring right here. A little going on. Uh, all kinds of gizmos and gadgets. Of course, with these Batman teams here. They do have that as something different. Not a lot to it. The real main event, though, is the action figure here. Very interesting. Feels very much like one of the superpower figures. Kind of feels like the Batman 66 and superpower figures. But definitely nice looking here. We got the soft goods cape. You guys know I'm here for a good cape. It is cape season after all. Nice yellow cape to match the emblem, to match the bat belt there. Looking really good. And then, of course, the classic purple color looking nice. Very animated in the face. It doesn't look like, uh, you know, Burt Ward and Adam West. Definitely looks like it came from the comic book, but still close enough, I do think. Got a little purple turtleneck going on, purple throughout, purple gloves, all kinds of stuff like that. She does got a fist of fury and one gripping hand, so make note of that. Uh, you do got the long orange hair coming out behind the cowl and all that. Of course, the Batman-like mask looking really good. Got the horns on the side looking nice. She does got those little spikes on the side of the forearm like we do see with our Bat characters, of course. And then she has the high heels, which is going to make her very difficult to stand, I have a feeling. <laughs> I'm a total liar, total liar. She stood extremely easy right there. You usually don't get that with high heels like that, so I'm here for that all day. Articulation, arms going to go around, no bicep cut. You do get the side to side. You get the elbows back and forth, uh, single jointed, of course, back and forth on the hands. A little bit of waist action, a little bit of head action, and then the legs straight up. Bend at the knee, single jointed bend at the knee, side to side, and then you do get nothing for the ankle. So that is it for articulation on old Batgirl here. But definitely need her as a member of the team. Going to be interesting. Does she fit on a McFarlane? McFarlane, what are we doing? Mattel ringside collectible stand. Does she fit? 
Will she fit? Yes, she will. Look at that. She fits right there. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you do get that. The Mattel stands for these if you are looking for it. But Batgirl, I'm here for it. Feels different. Feels new. And that kind of is the theme we're in. We're getting a couple of new one or two per wave. And then always a repaint, re-release. And that's what we got right here. Not a lot of bells and whistles with these two right here. It is basically Batman and Robin with a different head. That is all it really is at the end of the day. But we're going to dive in. We're going to check it out anyways. Let's check out the old boy Wonder himself. There's old Robin. I love how the cape is up in the air in the packaging there. Very cool looking. Of course, classic packaging design. We know it. We love it by now. He does got a little bat ring once again, and then he's got a little communicator device as his accessories. He's locked in at the waist, of course. Looking good. On the back, they're promoting the Batmobile. They got a little glamour shot, the logos, all that kind of fun stuff. So not a whole lot to report on on the back of the package. But let's pull it out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Once again, see you later. Just see you later. Get out of here. There it goes. A little plastic prison for Robin. Gonna grab my scissors. Gonna cut him free at the waist. There we go. Twist tie. See you later. Goodbye. And Robin pops on out very easily. Oh, and of course, we're taped in with this bat batarang again. Can I get it through the tape? You gotta be stronger than the tape, and it's not always easy. This is some strong tape. Some strong, strong tape. And there you go. Look at that. Pop it out. Bam! See you later. There you go. All right, we've got a bad ring. At least it is a little different than this one. you got a little hole through it, so you could put a piece of string. So you want to put it up on something. You have them climbing the wall. The famous scene, of course, Batman and Robin. You could do that. It is a nice blue color. Uh, very cool. On point, on brand, whatever you want to call it. Then we do get a little communication device. Uh, very old school looking, but definitely here for that. It is something different for an accessory. And of course, you can use this. You don't have to just use it with these two. You can use it with any one you want to, really, at the end of the day. So I do like this. Nice silver color. Nice little orange surrounding there. Some antennas at the top. It is what it is. Not going to set our world on fire, but it is cool to get at least something a little bit different. See you later. Goodbye. Then we get Robin, and we got the exact same articulation with all these figures, so we already know what we're getting with those. But it is Robin. If for some reason you missed out on an early version of Robin, I guess it's a way to get the old boy Wonder in a very similar attire. The big difference with this one here is, of course, the head and uh, the face. you got the face mask going on there. It does say oxygen on it. it does got the tubes around it, nice and silver. It is not removable. That would have been a kind of a cool thing if it was removable, but then you really just are straight re-releasing the last figure. So this is definitely different. If you're going to have an underwater scene, you're going to have the bat boat out there. Maybe they're scuba diving, they're jumping in the water off the bat boat. Maybe that's a possibility. Uh, but definitely not a lot of bells and whistles to this one. You definitely know it is Robin, though, especially with the Lone Ranger mask going on. You get the soft goods, yellow cape. I'm here for that all the time. Of course, the green and yellow. A longtime local A's fan was Burt Ward. He followed them all the way back in the day when they were the uh, Kansas City Athletics, I believe. Uh, somebody can fact check that if they want to. You got his nice little boots going on down below as well. Good skin tone color for him. It is Robin all day long with an oxygen mask. I mean, that's exactly what it is. And does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? He does not, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think his original one did not fit on a stand either. Oh, this one does. One foot fits, the other one does not. So take that for what it is, I guess, but it is the boy wonder for, for what it's worth. Now we're going to turn our attention to the old main eventer, the star of the show, the star of the program, old Batman himself. And look at that, he comes with that Bat Bazooka. Oh, good times with that one. Uh, so that is his accessory. Of course, packaging is the same. Batman with oxygen mask is what it says on the back of the package here. Promoting the Batmobile again. Nothing else, though. Nothing else back here. No blurb, no nothing. It would be nice if it said, from episode, you know, five, series, season three, or, or something like that. I don't, I don't know. But 12 and up on this one as well. Oh, rookie unboxing. Is there anything worse? There isn't much. Really isn't much worse than that. See you later. Goodbye. It's really embarrassing at this point. We've done thousands of unboxings on the channel here. See you later. Goodbye. You think I could get it figured out by now. You think I could get it figured out. See you later. Goodbye. There it goes. And then we got Batman. There he is in the plastic prison looking good. And he's locked in at the waist as well. I'm here for this. I'm here for this. Can't wait to dive in and see what's going on there. Cut him out at the waist. All right. Batman, what do you got for me? What do you got? See you later. Goodbye. See you later. Goodbye. Let's dive in. Let's see what this bazooka is all up to here. 
It's all black attack. It's got the yellow highlights on it, the yellow on the end, got the red on the top. Definitely looking good. I do like this weapon. Very kind of comical, of course, as everything was kind of in Batman 66. Or is it campy? Is that what they call it? Campy? I guess that's what we got going on here. I wonder how hard it is to get this in his hand, though. That's my guess. It's going to be uh, a tough one to get in. Let's see. Can we get it? Well, no, it fits in there okay. There we go. It fits in there all right. Of course, articulation can be the same as the other ones here. We do get the soft goods cape once again. Nice blue cape with Batman. Much like Robin, the exact same figure we've seen before. You get the yellow belt, uh, the gray and the blue color. It's just the head is where things get changed up with the oxygen mask. Uh, he's ready to go under sea. He's ready to shoot his Batman bazooka. He's ready to go. It is interesting. I don't think there's going to be a way. No, it's weird. You got a spot for a holder right here for the other hand. You're not going to be able to make it reach. Maybe? No, it's just not going to reach over there. There's just not enough articulation on these figures, unfortunately, to make that one happen. But I definitely like what I see here. I mean, I don't know. These are $20 a piece. I do understand that as well. As usual, you got to kind of wait for a deal a lot of times. Get 8% off. That's a good deal right there. Uh, that's what I did with these. But definitely an interesting one. I got to think there's a lot of people are going to get Batgirl. They say, oh, got to have her. But I can see a lot of people skipping these two. It's just there's not a ton of meat on the bone. And let's be honest, there's been so many of these two released already. Unmasked, with masks, black and white, uh, nuclear explosion version Batman. There's been so many different ones. I can see people skipping on this at the end of the day. Or waiting for clearance, the eventual clearance. Who knows? But you guys tell me. Does Batman fit on a ringside collectible stand? And as usual, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. There it is. Fits perfectly right there. So... An interesting group here, but Batgirl definitely needed. We need a comic Alfred, maybe, if they're not going to give us the regular version of Alfred. I don't know. We just need a regular straight-up Alfred one of these days. I want the full-on butler experience. But I'm here for this. This is good. This works for what it is. Uh, if I do eventually get that bat boat, I'm playing the long game. I'm going to put these two in the bat boat. Uh, it just makes more sense to me. And uh, then Batgirl, she's going to be her own thing. But I guess these guys don't have to be underwater with the oxygen mask. They could be in a room full of poisonous gas or something like that. I mean, there's different uses for these if you really needed to. So I guess take that for what it is. But an interesting one, a mixed bag, we'll call it. But I'm here for it. We'll be interested to see what comes next from Batman 66. San Diego Comic-Con right around the corner. Who knows? We might see some more things uh, announced to us. And I'll be there live and in person uh, reporting on all the news. So make sure you do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let me know your thoughts on these three. You're picking them up. You're passing. You're playing the long game. Of course, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this. Bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. A ton goes on on the old Patreon channel. And best of all, it does support this very YouTube channel. You know, support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Batman, Robin, and Batgirl 2, I am Kyle. And I'll see you all real soon.